Now coming to question number 92, which one of the following plants shows a very close relationship with the species of moth? Yes, if we talk about the first option, hydrilla, it is pollinated by water, not insects. Voila form cholestogamous flowers. In the case of cholestogamous flowers, there is presence of self-pollination. Now, in yucca, pollination is done by moth. Name of that moth is pronuba moth. And it is a symbiotic relationship. What do you mean by that? That is, yucca can only be pollinated by pronuba moth. And pronuba can only complete its life cycle inside the yucca plant. Now, coming to the last one, banana. In the case of banana, there is presence of parthenocarpi, that is formation of fruit without fertilization. So, the right answer for this question is option number two. Now, moving on to the next question, that is 93. Very important question. Oxygen is not produced during photosynthesis by, so it means the question is asking about the organisms which perform N oxygenic photosynthesis. Now, if you talk about all these three options, now in these three options during photosynthesis, there is splitting of water. Now, splitting of water releases hydrogen ion, electrons and oxygen. So, during photosynthesis, they release, they produce oxygen. So, what do you call such type of photosynthesis as? It is known as oxygenic photosynthesis. But if you talk about green sulfur bacteria, in green sulfur bacteria, instead of H2O, there is utilization of H2S. H2S provides electron and hydrogen. So, now it is not H2O, it is H2S. So, there won't be production of any oxygen after splitting of H2S. So, it is known as N-oxygenic photosynthesis. So, the right answer for this question is option number 1. So now let's move on to the question number 94 now.